if the power of the right to vote was truly made available to everyone in America, it would change the future of this nation. Ladies and gentlemen, Stacey Abrams! When I started running for governor, we anticipated that voter suppression was going to be instrumental in Ryan Kemp's campaign, and we were right. We've been in line for five hours. They said, you've already voted. It looks like several days ago. No, I would have remembered that. Thousands of people were told no and didn't have the authority to demand better. These lines are insane. We had precinct consolidation, non-training of local election officials. I knew something had gone horribly wrong. The system that is supposed to protect our democracy didn't work the way it was supposed to. States implement voter suppression laws all across the country. Things like new voter ID laws purging. You're knocked off the roll. Gerrymandering. Changing the voting boundaries. Ohio is a use it or lose it state. In the United States, the right to vote is the only right you can lose simply for not using it. Jim Crow 2.0, that's what we're saying. We've got a lot of work to do. When we started as a country, 6% of people were eligible to vote. There are still forces that are determined to keep citizens from voting. Unless we fight for the right to vote, our democracy is put at risk. The fight over voting rights is ultimately about power. The states have figured out how to stop. African Americans, Hispanics, Asian Americans, the young and the poor from voting. History is never a straight line. It's always a fight. I will not concede because the erosion of our democracy is not right. I'm trying to make history. The vote matters. You belong. You have value.